what he's saying is, <laughs> well, here's my complaint, is that uh, if you really b thought there were lights out there, you would put your station far away from the highway or any distractions of where other lights might be, because you would want to see those lights exclusively. For instance, when you long look at the stars, you don't want to be distracted by light pollution from the city, so you put observatories Far, follow my hand, please. Follow my hand. Far away, up on mountaintops. Bring it back, bring it back. So, the Marfa light station being right by the highway to me is very suspicious. Secondly, it's at an angle. If it was completely 90, 90 degree angle opposed to the highway, that would mean there's no chance of something. But it's not. It's at an angle. And in fact, I believe that is because they want you to see other lights. Thirdly, there is a red flashing light right by the Marfa Lights viewing station. Now, that's a terrible place to put a viewing station because you would want not to see red flashing lights if the goal is to see red flashing lights that cannot be explained. And here they have a red flashing light on a tower that can be explained. How do you say on a tower? Sobre un torre? Sobre una torre. There is a belief that the Marfa Lights have been seen since 1880 and that an old timer, an honest old man, a guy who lived on the earth and therefore had folk wisdom, saw them and wrote them down in his biography, his autobiography. I've seen these lights, I can't explain them, how haunting. No, no, no. When you actually look for the book, there's nothing about that. That's the way myths are developed, kind of basing your knowledge on the fact that other people will never check on them. Lastly, there have been studies. People have gone with walkie-talkies and communication devices saying, I'm here where the lights are. Do you see the lights? And someone will say either, yes, I see the lights, and they'll say, oh, well, there's no crazy lights here. So my explanation to be charitable, to be generous, to be fair, is that the lights are refracted light from something else. And not to be charitable, to be unfair, not to be generous, is that the lights are just the power of suggestion. You don't want to come to the middle of Texas, the middle of Texas, and not see the lights you came to see. Now, when I used to work at Padres, Padres. When I used to work at Padres, I was a bartender. And people much like yourselves from all over the world would come and they'd ask me, how do I see the Marfa lights? I'd say, well, here's what you do. You take a lot of acid and then maybe a joint, but not more than one or two because you don't want to drive under the influence, but a lot of acid and maybe a joint or two. And you go to the Marfa lights viewing station and you wait for about 10 minutes and you're going to see lots of lights. Have you seen any lights? I see lots of lights all over the place. <laughs> but, uh, here's, here, no. here's, here's the, the only reason why such a thing would bother me. Because it doesn't bother me that people imagine they see things or see things that I don't think I see. The only reason it bothers me is because this is among the most beautiful places in the world to see lights. That's why we have the McDonald Observatory here. The lightning can bounce from cloud to cloud. You can see heat lightning when it's hot. You can see what we call heat waves, which are light refractions from heat rising from the ground. There's so many beautiful, mythical, mystical things that you can see in Marfa that you don't need to make things up. And by making things up, you actually detract, you distract, you take people away from the beauty that is all around them. But for some reason, there are people who don't think stars are nearly as interesting as a Marfa light. I absolutely do. And there are people who think that lightning is somehow more easily explained, less mysterious, less beautiful, less powerful than a Marfa light. I'm not one of them. Um, who think that these, the lights that you see from miles and miles away from another city to actually be able to see the lights from another town is somehow less influential or less mystifying or less magical. And I'm not that. So I think this is a town that has lots and lots of martial lights, many, many lights worth seeing. It just happens to be the ones by the highway are not there.